Judith Monroe and this is my bathroom and in this video I'm going to show you how you can turn your own bathroom into a dark room suitable for processing photo paper like this. You don't really need a whole lot of supplies to create your own dark room, at least not to make it dark. The first thing you're going to need is something like this black plastic sheeting. Um, it was sold in um, a Home Depot type store as a paint tarp. Um, I've cut a small section off. Um, this wasn't very expensive, but it's way more than I'm gonna need. I'll probably use it the next time I paint one of my walls. Um, scissors. This is masking tape. I really like the wide stuff because it's gonna help me hold this up on the wall pretty well. Um, you might need an extra towel and you're gonna need some kind of a light fixture and a safe light. So the cool part of this safe light is a very special color. You can see that there and um, under that color light, that paper can be processed safely, hence the name Safe Light. So the first thing I'm going to do is look around my bathroom and see how dark I can make it. So I have a light on and I'm going to turn that off and you can see there's um, a lot of light coming through that window. And so the first thing that I'm going to do is block the light out from that window, but um, I'm not gonna make you watch me do that in real time. So I'm gonna set this up on a little bit of a time lapse and you'll get to see me cover that up. So now you can see that we've um, sealed all the light out pretty simply here. Um, nothing's gonna come through that. And now I need to look around and see what happens. Look, there's my dog. Um, I think she's gonna join us. Hi, Sparky. Um, when we close this door and turn off this light, it gets dark, but you can see there's a little bit of light in front of there, and even Sparky can block it a little bit. So to block that light, so much easier to see in the dark light, not in the dark, I can just roll up a piece, uh, a, a towel, and put that in front of the so, door. Now you can see I've rolled up that towel in front of the door. Sparky says it looks good to her. And turn the light off. And now it's really dark. Okay. We do have a little bit of a light leak coming through this. Seems you can kind of see it faintly right there but that's probably not enough to cause any trouble. If that did um, have too much of a light leak, um, one of the things that I could do is um, take a piece of that plastic sheeting and kind of hinge it at the top up there and let it fall over and it, it wouldn't have to be sealed. Um, it would be good enough. So one last thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we um, have our safe light set up right. So here you can see I've put my safe light in here. I'm going to flick this light on. Um, this is a pretty good, a small lamp that's posable is a really good lamp for this. And um, hi, we're going to turn this and point it up. 
and um, I'm putting it in this corner because this is the corner where the light fixture or the plug is. I'm going to turn the lights out and now you can see it's really dim. Um, if I worked close here, it might be a little close, but it's definitely pointing away. I don't want it um, illuminating my paper too much. It's much better that my eyes just kind of get used to sitting here and even my camera will. Um, so this would be where I will set up my workstation right along the sink here, which is good because it's spill proof and uh, isn't that just lovely? It looks really bright but um, in the light here, but it's really rather dim. And if I look all around, I don't get any light coming in from the window. I think that's pretty good. So I hope this was helpful to show you how to really simply set up your own dark room at home. And in the next video that I make, I'll actually show you how to mix up alternative process developer for your paper that uses coffee and vitamin C powder and washing soda. And that's it. Oh, and salt to fix it. See you next time. Oh, and don't forget, um, like, subscribe, comment. See ya.